Hello, my name is Ben Warden. I'm uh, 25 years old and until very recently my job was within higher education doing projects for 11 to 20 year olds. As part of that I did a week-long uh, summer school with our sports science course um, called the Olympic and Paralympic Summer School. At the time I just thought it was a good event and something that would get kids to come to our summer school. I thought it was a good selling point. Um, but through actually putting on the project, I learned so much about the Olympics, the ethos of the Olympics, the legacy it tries to leave behind. And I got really excited about the whole event. And um, since then, I have left that job. Um, and with that move, I decided to try and become a full time writer, which is something I also have real passion for. Um, in terms of my background, I did do a film, TV and radio degree. And within that, I did a, a one year, one module on script writing. Um, what gets me going creatively is um, I specialised in my degree in cinematography so as soon as I start to picture um, the shots and the lights and the pulls of light as soon as the script really starts to pull together in that way that I can really see it in my head that gets me going very um, really gets me going even if that's not necessarily how it then gets put down by a director um, that quite excites me. Also, um, from the script writing point of view, just watching an audience have a reaction, like as long as you get an emotional response, even if it's not necessarily the one you're after, as long as they um, connect with it. In the eight months I've had as a writer, I've um, written a, a book, which I've just finished today. Um, I've written a feature film, which is with a couple of literary agents and has been for about four or five weeks, hoping to hear from them soon. Um, I've en entered numerous competitions so this is the one that I'm most excited about because it will give me an opportunity to write something that I hope, like the Olympics, will leave a legacy and stay in people's memories. Thank you very much for listening.